All right, guys, we are still here in this favorite junkyard of mine that I've been telling you I was going to bring you to. This is going to be part two of the video. So if you didn't see part one, please go back and check it out and stay tuned for the rest of them because it's going to take a long time to get through all this. So let's start with this thing. Could somebody please tell me what this is? It looks like some English looking little thing like you would see Prince Charles running around in and it's even got a metal panel sunroof. Crazy looking. What do we got here? It looks like a Cadillac emblem on the back. But I don't know what it is. I got a fence here. I would, if I saw that and I had to guess, it looks like a Nash to me. Look at this old Cadillac two-door. Somebody stripped it down pretty good. Looks like all the power window stuff's been taken out of it if it had them. I've seen one of these weird looking little things. A Rambler. Here's another Rambler wagon. There's what's left of a Falcon. 64, 65, 66. Another Corvair, got a Dodge Charger. Another Maverick. A 63 Chevy, a 64 Chevy. Fifty-five or fifty-six Ford here, four-door. Somebody needed the front half of that roof. There's another 1960 Ford station wagon. Look, I believe that was a Dodge Challenger at one time. It certainly got picked clean. Another Rambler. Now somebody's come and got that back glass out of this 68 Mercury since I got the dash pad out of it because that wasn't gone before. Look at this, if somebody's looking for this original vinyl top trim for a Mercury, it's all here. Sixty-eight or nine Fairlane. Not sure what that is. Something GM-ish. I can't read it over there. There's a sixty-one Chevy. It's just slowly becoming part of the earth completely sinking down, being consumed by the dirt. What is this thing? I'm sure some of you already know. 
Ventura, it says. So we'll call it a Pontiac. There's an old Chrysler. Sixty four Fairlane. There's another Corvair sitting over there. There's a sixty one Ford two door hardtop. There's another sixty one Chevy sitting over there. I believe, oh, that went down. 61, two Mercury, something like that. There's a Mercedes. Look at that, two more Corvairs. It's just, it's just never ending. Look at that, a Rally Nova. I mean, if nothing else, if that thing's real, which it, to me, looks like it is, I think someone would want it for the VIN to build one. I don't want to know where to look for the VIN in this thing. I don't see it in the windshield there. There is still a, a tag here. You guys can maybe be able, to be able to screen shoot that and blow it up. I don't have a wire brush or anything to scrape it off. I believe it's the real deal. And I think it was a four speed. Somebody's got the pedals. It's getting windier. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be cutting wood. Sunday's supposed to be really cold. Monday I've got a doctor's appointment. And then I don't know what all is scheduled for next week yet, but. I'm gonna have to make multiple trips over here to show you guys all this. Old Ford truck. Another 60 Chevy. Torino Fastback. <laughs> Still got the emblems on it. I honestly don't know where to go from here. The 55 Ford V8. Two door hardtop.
I believe that to be something like a 56 Plymouth, maybe. I could be wrong. I'm somewhere in the neighborhood, I think, of being correct. I know that is because that dash reminds me of the one that Art has. Another 55 Ford. Look, here's a Barracuda. Somebody got the back glass out of it. There's a guy in town that's got one of these. He still drives it around. Another 66 Ford. Looks like a tree fell on it at one time. Sixty-six Chevy. Sixty-seven Chevy. Is that a 65 or 66 there? I don't know, how many 60 Chevys have we seen? There's a Buick with Sabre. A Sabre 400. There's probably something in that instrument cluster somebody could use. A 73 LTD. Here's that 67 Chevy. Here's a Pontiac four-door hardtop. Look at that, a Javelin, I think. That's what that is. Another Rambler, another 64 Ford. Look at these cars just butt up against each other. It's a 71 Mercury Monterey. Now, There's two 57 Mercury's in here. They're both black. There's one. And there's one down here that there's a tree laying on now. That's crazy. We'll go down there and look at that tree. But me and Charlie was over here one day and we each got the big M emblems. I'll try to remember to show you guys a picture of the one that I got at home. had that that big gold M right there in the center of the bumper between the bumper and the grill I got one and Charlie got one I don't remember which one each of us got but I know we both got one and they're really nice two sixty six Chevys I don't know if that's a Fairlane or a Torino I wasn't a huge fan of those. They rusted out something terrible. Still has the Philco radio in it. That looks like an Oldsmobile that Adam would like with that J.C. Whitney looking trim on the side of it. Power windows and locks, look at that. That tree fell right across the top of there and it didn't even break this glass, man.
this tree was not laying here when me and Charlie got those M's off these mercuries. I do know at least one of these mercuries was a power window car. There's a Mercury Comet sitting back there. There's a Plymouth. My uncle had one of those. Look at those high back seats in that thing. Pontiac. I'm telling you guys, we have barely touched this place. Some kind of old fair lane there, fair lane 500. Fifty seven Ford. There's another Corvair. And say if you're looking for anything Corvair, this is a place to come. Look at that old Chevelle or Malibu with the a tree growing up right against the firewall. Look at that. There's a Mustang convertible. Sixty three Ford convertible. It's just a Galaxy 500, it wasn't an XL. 69 Chevy two door hardtop. Look, is this a 62 Chevy? Is that an SS with that trim? Maybe not. Might have been. Yeah, it's got a bench seat, so I don't think it was an SS, but nonetheless, it's a 62 Chevy hardtop. Was. I think we better wrap this up and call it part two and move on to part three. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.